Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a beef pot roast in the Instant Pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the saute. And then I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil. I'm using the grape seed oil. rose cut into cubes. It's not something that you have to do. It's just something that I like to do. It just seems like it um, gets done maybe a little faster. Okay, so I'm going to put the spices that I use down at the bottom or maybe at the front. Um, but just in general, you can salt and pepper to your taste. But I do have a teaspoon and a half of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. I have two cups of beef broth, but you can also use other juices like, I mean, you can use water, you can use tomato juice, you can use beer, uh, you can use wine. I mean, the broth. <laughs> With pot roast, there's so many different versions. And sometimes, to be honest, I sometimes will use like a cup of beef broth and a cup of tomato juice. Or, you know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Pour that in there. And I'm gonna deglaze the bottom a little bit if anything's stuck. That just helps prevent a burn, you know, this. Then I'm going to add some more of my ingredients. I have four red potatoes cut into wedges. And I'll put the rest of the spices over this. And like I said, I'll put these down at the bottom. But it includes um, onion powder, garlic powder, some basil. I'm going to put well. I'm use a couple tablespoons of this crushed garlic. I'm going to use, you can use one to two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. and then I'm going to set it for 60 minutes. In general, you're going to want to cook your roast about 20 minutes per pound, just kind of giving you a guideline there. Mine is about a three pound roast, so I've got mine on for 60 minutes. If yours is, say, a five pound, you may want to put it on for like 80 minutes. Um, if it's frozen, you're going to want to add 20, 30 minutes to the time. So this is natural released for 15 minutes. I'm going to let the steam out. And I'm going to 
set it for me. While the carrots are cooking, I'm shredding this up, and as you can see, it's so tender. So tender. It's just falling apart. It's so tender. I'm gonna give it a try. It's good. It's moist. It's flavorful. It's really good. Mm. It's really good. Timer's gone off on the carrots. 